Often you want to make a backup of files and save those files onto a CD. For example, I have some pictures I took at the zoo, which I want to save, and I have some files in my documents. I want to save some schoolwork. I have work from different classes, and I have this important paper, and I want to save all of those onto a CD. So how can I do that? It's really pretty simple on Windows. First thing I need to do is go ahead and open up the CD tray on my computer, usually on the front with a button, put a CD in there, shiny side down, and then I can go ahead and gently close that. I've just done that on my computer, and in just a couple of seconds we should get something popping up saying, I found a CD. Windows should just find it. There it is. We have different options. We could open it up with different programs. In this case, we want to open the writable CD folder. In other words, open the CD so that we can write to it. If that does not show up, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and close mine. Notice it says write these files to CD. I could always open up my computer and go ahead and find that CD drive. I get to the exact same spot. So if for some reason that doesn't happen, and you know, this, that dialog doesn't come up, you're OK. Now I want to go ahead and maybe shrink this window down a little bit. I don't want to shrink it down too much, so if I get too much, that sidebar disappears. I want this sidebar right here that says write these files to CD, so maybe about that big. I could then get my zoo pictures and just drag and drop them over there. My documents, I can move those over here, get my important paper. Get my schoolwork, just drag anything I want over there onto that CD. Once I have those files, I could say write these files to CD. I click on there and I will get what they call a wizard. It asks me to go ahead and put a name for it. I could give it any name I want. It defaults to the date. Well, that's the date that I'm making this video. I could choose to close the wizard after the files have been written. If not, it gives me some other options. I'll, I won't check that. You can if you want. doesn't matter. I will hit next and it does some preparation and then it will go ahead and write those files. And when it's done, this pops up. Do I want to create another CD using the same files? If I wanted to, I could. In this case, I don't, so I'm just going to hit Finish, and I am complete.